Biotechnology has provided us with hundreds of therapies and medicines to treat some of the most devastating diseases. But what does it actually take to create a new biotech treatment? Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan and welcome to BioBytes. It usually takes 10 to 15 years to develop a new biotech therapy. You heard me right, 10 to 15 years. This rigorous process can cost upwards of $1.2 billion and has several major steps. Laboratory testing, preclinical trials on animals, clinical trials on humans, review by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to help ensure the drug or therapy is safe and effective, and post-approval monitoring. When researchers have identified a new potential drug therapy, first step in the development pipeline is laboratory and animal testing. This stage primarily provides an initial indicator of the safety of a drug or therapy before it is tested on humans. Research institutions and biotech companies place animal well-being as a top priority. The U.S. Department of Agriculture requires that animals used in biomedical research are properly cared for and handled humanely in accordance with the federal law. Once a drug successfully passes animal trials, it can begin to be tested in human clinical trials. This stage entails multiple phases and is a lengthy and costly process. The FDA must approve any clinical trials on humans for an investigational new drug. Phase one of these trials usually involves fewer than 100 healthy volunteers and examines overall safety. Phase two includes approximately 100 to 300 participants currently suffering from a disease that the drug may treat. Phase two trials study both safety and effectiveness and it conclude patients with many related conditions like a variety of cancers in order to select the best group for the phase three trials. Results from phase two trials help investigators design phase three trials. Phase three trials can include thousands of participants comprised of the specific group for which the developer wants to get FDA drug approval. This is the final trial of safety and effectiveness before a drug goes to market. Clinical trials are a meticulous process and can take years to complete. If the clinical trials are successful, meaning they positively affect the disease or ailment that they set out to treat, the therapy developer can apply for FDA approval. Once the application for a new drug is submitted, it takes the FDA six to 10 months or longer, often several years, to render a decision while they carefully review the safety and effectiveness of the therapy. In recent years, this review timeline has lengthened as the FDA has faced tight budgets and reduced resources. Because some rare side effects may not be apparent in clinical trials, new drug therapies must continue to be monitored once the FDA approves them. This is the fourth step of the biotech therapy development timeline. Additionally, drugs are usually only approved to treat the one narrow condition that was the subject of their clinical trials. If a drug company wants to broaden the scope of their product, they must go back and conduct more phase two and three clinical trials on new patient groups. As you can see, the development of a new biotech therapy is a lengthy and intense process. Each step helps ensure that new biologic medicines are safe and effective. These new advances enable biotech researchers to improve existing medicines and develop the next generation of therapies and hopefully cures for debilitating diseases and most importantly, provide hope for the patient. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.